Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the CD guy, Johnny Z here. Thanks so much for tuning back into the channel. Hope you're all having a great weekend, and I'm back here today with Rare and Signed, episode number two, and I'm going to be showing off rare and or signed items from the greatest rock band of all time, ACDC. Just a disclaimer here off the top, I can vouch for the authenticity of every item I'm going to be showing here. They were either signed in front of me or the presence of a family member, so you know it's all real stuff. And also, be sure to stick around to the very end of the video, where I'll share one of the rarest items of ACDC memorabilia in the world today. The first item I'm going to be showing here is one of my favorites, right? probably my favorite out of everything I'm going to be showing. It is a handwritten letter from Brian Johnson to me. Um, this was written in 2016 after Brian had to step down from being the vocalist for ACDC due to hearing loss. And uh, Brian wrote to me and it says as follows here. Hey John, thank you for the support. It's been pretty tough having to stop doing what you love. Uh, with fans like you, I'll never feel alone. I salute you. Brian Johnson, ACDC. Really cool stuff here. Uh, like I said, the, my favorite thing that I'm going to be showing here. And um, just pretty surreal. More Brian Johnson memorabilia here. A signed photo of Brian during Hell's Bells inscribed saying, Cheers, young John. Brian Johnson, ACDC. So really cool piece of memorabilia there. Signed by Brian. And uh, just like with the letter before, I really do love this one. Uh, love how he uh, dedicated this one to me and wanted to show it here. Next up, it's more Brian. My signed copy of the Razor's Edge remaster signed by Brian Johnson. It says, keep rocking, John. Brian Johnson, ACDC. Uh, and I guess you could say Brian's been pretty good to me over the years, right? Next is my copy of the October 16th, 1982 bootleg concert here from the Hammersmith. Um, there's only 200 of these in existence, and my copy is signed by both Brian and Cliff Williams. Really cool there. Rare enough as it is, but then it's even more rare to be signed by two members of the band. Next up, this is really cool. This is a stage use prop from the Who Made Who tour. Basically, if you won the Angus Young Lookalike concert, you got to mime Angus during the tour and play this cardboard guitar. Really cool piece of stage use memorabilia. Also, if you turn it over, it is signed by all members of the Who Made Who lineup, that being Brian Johnson, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Cliff Williams, and Simon Wright. How about the promotional dollar bill with Angus on the front? These uh, dollar bills would fall from the top of the arena onto the crowd during live performances of Money Talks in the early 90s on the Razor's Edge tour. So, not too hard to find, right, but just a really cool piece of live memorabilia here. And, of course, you got the ACDC logo on the back. Next up is my copy of the Australian Dirty Deeds on CD. This is an import here, not necessarily super rare, but still really cool. Uh, one of my favorite pieces in my collection, and um, just wanted to share this here. I love this cover as well. And uh, in terms of album quality, I actually think the Australian version is much better than the international release. And, you know, once you've heard the Australian version, you can never go back to the international one. Well, I said that if you stuck around to the end, I'd show off one of the rarest pieces of ACDC memorabilia in the world today that I have in my collection, and that is the ACDC book from 1976. The only way to obtain this was to order it through the order form in the first pressing of the Australian Dirty Deeds, right? This is one of the rarest ACDC items in the world, maybe second only to the High Voltage Tour book from 1975. Super hard to find, let alone in high-grade condition like the one I have here. Wanted to share it with you guys. I saved the best for last, I think, and... Like I said before, it's extremely rare, one of the rarest ACDC items in the world. So that wraps up episode 2 of Rare and Signed, focusing on ACDC this week. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel down below. Help me reach my goal of 300 subs here on YouTube. We are getting dangerously close once again to a milestone subscriber special. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for notifications to be notified of a new upload. Let me know in the comments below what rare or signed ACDC items do you have in your collection. Till next time, it's the CD Guy, Johnny Z, signing off. Take care, everybody.